much wisdom, some of them students, parents, teachers, and friends of the open line to the 100 name of the open line presentation ceremony. Would you please stand for the entry of the official card? Yuma, Yuma Lundi, Hello and welcome staff and students to this very special award ceremony for 2020 that is being held on traditional Aboriginal land. It is a privilege to stand on country and walk in the footsteps of those before us. Underneath the plastic, metal and wood that you are seated upon today, along the riverbeds and amongst the gum trees, is land that has a rich cultural significance. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land who have performed age-old ceremonies of storytelling, music, dance, celebration and renewal. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge the strength, knowledge and resilience of Aboriginal people in the Goulburn area and Australia wide. Thank you and congratulations to all students who have completed another year of schooling. Please remain standing for the National Anthem. Jim's Day and the RSPCA, to finish off the year, we 
We are very excited for our whole school color run that will be happening tomorrow. It will be a great, it will be so great to finish what has been quite a difficult year with a big colorful event. We are looking forward to a 2021 where we encourage all students to join our team next the next year.
killing up equals second unit HPA.
Dear parents, um, carers, students, staff in the Blora community, um, I'm delighted to present the principal's report for 2020. I extend a warm welcome to all as we connect here today through this online platform to celebrate achievements of our talented young men and women. This occasion marks my first prize giving um, as principal of Goldman High School and I'm incredibly proud to represent this great school and celebrate with you the successes of our students here today. Behind every prize um, and every success are the teachers, parents, carers, family members, friends and supporters who have been with our students every step of the way through the highs and lows. Today we can all go sit back and feel very proud of um, your achievements and who you are becoming as a young person um, your story is still being um, written. Prize giving is a time for us as educators and learners to reflect on the world and the space of change we are navigating in the way we all approach education. As a school, we must continue to embrace the requirement to change and adapt, to chart new course built from the strengths of what we do best, teaching and learning. Change is a constant in this rapidly evolving world, we recognize the challenge to prepare our students for a world where innovation, collaboration, resilience, and the ability to solve complex problems will be required. A world where key strengths uh, of young person will need are the ability to learn, to be adaptive, relational, and culturally located. At Goldman High School, we are aspirational, we will strive to deliver student-centered learning, which is connected, culturally located, authentic and exciting, where all our students want to be engaged, where our community willingly shares its skills, strengths and values, and where learning is at the core. This is an aspirational journey. We get what we expect, and our community must continue to expect great things from our school and our young people. Our collective challenge as a school in 2021 is to continue to grow not only strong young men and women who experience academic success, but young people who are compassionate and considerate. We thank all parents, caregivers for your ongoing support of our school and look forward to continuing to build strong working relationship focused on student success um, next year. We have celebrated the character, the commitment and achievements of our students in academia, sport and arts. Uh, for students who will be receiving awards today for academic excellence and other school activities, congratulations, well deserved. For sports, Goldman High continues, sport continues to be well supported and catered for at Goldman High School by our dedicated and hard working PDHPE faculty in the whole school. It was particularly impressive this year where our school completed all three sporting carnivals under very challenging circumstances. I want to congratulate students who will be receiving sports award today. As principal, the quality of our staff and the potential we have for making a profound difference in the lives and the learning of students in our care is of paramount importance to me. I feel very blessed to be working with some of the best educators that I have had the privilege to work alongside me. 
the drive, the passion, the determination underpinned by the skill, knowledge and empathy has seen teaching and learning continue to be to raise progress and achievement um, despite the ever-changing social, learning, emotional needs that we are confronted uh, with today. The resilience required from the 21st century teacher is an incredible mix of passion, professionalism, patience and persistence. In acknowledging the teaching staff, I acknowledge too the wonderful support team that ensures this school runs smoothly. They're often the unsung heroes of our school. Every member of this staff team, both teaching and non-teaching, is a critical function in the school success of this school. Please know that your contribution efforts are most valued and appreciated. I must also pay tribute to the supreme dedication and support of my leadership team. Uh, Deputy Principals Ms. Ms. Michelle Ryan and Mr. James Moore and the Head Teachers. I thank you all for your support and guidance this year. Finally, I want to thank our hard-working and dedicated PNC who, pays, who plays such an active role in education of all students. In particular, I want to thank our President Mrs. Uh, Renee Woodbury who works tirelessly to support the school in every possible way. As the principal, I'm committed to working collaboratively with our PNC to provide quality education to every student. In closing, I want to wish everyone Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I would now like to invite sports coordinator Mr. Chadwick to present the sports report and awards. Uh, this year's been really interesting for sport. Uh, most CHS and South Coast events were commenced across the state, but as a school, we were really fortunate. We were able to be one of the very few schools to get all three of our comments done. We only had our athletics come a few weeks ago, and it's probably one of the best ones we've had in quite a long time. Today, we're going to be acknowledging um, our sporting achievements. I'd like to ask our teacher in great Mrs. Manny, you should come up and present you. You guys went 
indeed when the students is here, but he was paying attention for many years, but he also played rugby in the University of Australia. The contribution to support of all those students who showed a consistent effort across the board, as well as very high achievements, and this year we have a joint award, and that is going to be Keely Martin and Lockwood. reasons. So many ups and downs, changes in all of our lives and events in Australia that we hope we will never have to live through again. As the whole country has had to pull together to support each other, so have we here at Golden High. Support to our families, our students and our teachers. Thank you to you all for working through 2020 with us. Some things certainly never turned out as we hoped, Although from this, some of us found strength we never thought we'd have. Homeschooling was interesting, and I think we all learned a little something from that experience. Another Year 12 has finished. They have absolutely missed so many fun things that happen in Year 12, their rite of passage. But the strength they gained from this being commendable. The most difficult year a Year 12 group could ever imagine. You are all a wonderful, resilient group of students that we will always be proud of, and you should be proud of yourselves. We know this has been difficult for you all. During 2020, the PNC have still worked extremely hard. Melinda in the canteen really is a superstar. I have no reservations in stating we undoubtedly have one of the best canteens, if not the best, in our region. Always providing healthy food for all of our students, as well as the tremendous catering efforts and willingness to take on any job requested. The PNC and the canteen now also provide the book pack requirements for the students, countless hours of sorting and trying to get you the best value for your money. Bronwyn in the uniform shop, she has been amazing and has been on board now going into her sixth year. She is an absolutely wonderful asset supplying our students and families the best possible service and assisting all of our families with their uniform requirements. In 2021, our school will welcome a new group of Year 7 students. The PNC will welcome new faces and with that, new ideas. Recently, we have been proactively working together, investigating with Golden High what our students need. Our job has always been to positively assist Golden High School achieve new projects so our students can enjoy the best possible facilities they deserve. Lastly, I would like to proudly welcome Mr Yogesh Mani to the position of Principal. Our future is definitely looking bright and encouraging and we have the utmost confidence that the new partnership between the PNC and Golden High School will be a fantastic working relationship. Congratulations, Mr. Manny, and well done to Goulburn High School for the positive progress we have made in such a short time and the future positive plans we hold. On behalf of the PNC, I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday and see you in 2021. Thank you. 
The PMC Awards are presented to students who have shown a strong commitment to their learning throughout the year. I would like to invite Miss Murray to present the next set of awards. First award is Eloise Award. Benita Holman. And Marshall Whitfield. The Warburton and Family Prize of Science. Dr. Joseph A. Warburton was the last of GHS in 1946. He had an illustrious career in science, between physics and atmospheric science, where he was responsible for making new discoveries in the advancement of weather modification. He was the author of 115 scientific manuscripts published in scientific journals in Australia, USA and Europe. The bulk of his career was spent in Nevada. He was educated at the University of Queensland and the University of Sydney. The recipient of the Wilton Family Prize for Science is Mary Martin. Do you think this living is still back? Goes to Jared Seamus. The Aurora College Award for Academic Achievement in English and Galaxy Medal goes to James Cooper. Thank you, Ms. Harvey, and congratulations to the award recipients who have worked hard to achieve these honors. Welcome High School Smiles Program extending the Student Positive Achievement Award System that allows students to progress through a number of levels by recognizing the student effort and commitment. Our Positive Behavior for Success Program acknowledges and rewards students who consistently demonstrate our school values of respect, responsibility, and resilience. I would like to invite that teacher of year eight, Miss Manning, to present the students with their Golden High School Smiles.
Juanita, por un momento.